I don't want to be Kolo. He Kolo more. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tobo Sigwe. He Kolo more. Now, because of um, I've noticed how some of our black brothers in diaspora, how they are interested in Igbo culture and tradition, and some are trying to see how they will connect back. Now, as someone who is into Igbo tradition and culture, I want to, in this video, I want to show them ways that they can connect back to the culture. You do not, um, in life, there are rules. There are rules. For example, if you want to marry someone's daughter, you don't just grab the person and start marrying. There are certain rules, ways to go about it, which is different from one family to the other. So if you want to connect to the Igbo culture, you want to tap into it, you want to be engrafted into the system, this video is to show you ways to go about it. In fact, I've, I'm going to teach two ways. One is the rigid way. One is the flexible way. I'm going to start with the rigid way. If you want to be an Igbo, because some people claim that they are Igbo Hebrew or Igbo this one. No, there is nothing like Igbo Hebrew. If you're, if you're black in diaspora and you want to connect back to Igbo, to your Igbo roots, you believe that you are Igbo and you want to connect back to your Igbo roots. I'm, I'm showing you the rigid way to go about it. The rigid way means the first step. It means Coming down to Igbo land, you have to come back to Igbo land and settle among the Igbos because Igbos are a people. They, are in, they, have, they have a territorial space. So if you are really desirous in the rigid way, you have to come back and join an Igbo community. You will have to be engrafted into the community, then join what Igbo call Omona, kindred. You must have a kindred. Most of the Igbo people that, you are, that are deceiving you people there in diaspora, they have Omona. They have a kindred. Unless those who have cut ties with their kindred, Igbos exist in clans and kindred or communities and kindred. Every woman belong to a particular community and kindred. For example, I'm from Unnewi. In Unnewi, I belong to a clan, a Zobo. Now I have a particular kindred, another sub clan known as Akwagobi. And it is so for any true Igbo person. You must belong to a community, to an Igbo community, and you must belong to a kindred or sub-kindred or a clan, as the case may be. So if you are really desirous, you have to come down to Igbo land and locate an Igbo community and become a part of their kindred. You cannot exist in isolation and say that you are Igbo. If someone meets you and asks you and you say you are Igbo, the first thing they will ask you is, which community are you from? Once you mention the community, they will say, on the, on the, on the, that's your kindred that is what they are looking for. The Omonai that you belong to. Now, once you belong to this kindred, you live by the kindred's do's and don'ts. You must live by the kindred do's and don'ts. Igbo communities differ. Their rules, their culture, or menani, it differs from one community to the other. Like I said, when I was interviewed by Garfield, I'm from Unnewi, and in Unnewi, we don't kill or eat snake. That's python. We don't kill or eat python. We don't eat tortoise, and we don't eat bush rat. But you can step into the next Igbo community that is a neighbor to Newi, and you'll find out that they eat these three things. But there are, they, are, they have other things that they avoid. 
So there are many do's and don'ts. So if once you connect to a community, you start living by their own do's and don'ts. Secondly, you will know that once you join a particular kindred, I say first, A, you live by the kindred do's and don'ts. B, you will be buried by the kindred upon death. Know that you'll be buried by the kindred. Is the kindred that bury anybody? That's Igbo tradition. You can't say that you are Igbo when you die or church church people will go and bury you. No. They can invite the church people, priests to officiate. After officiating, they go. The real burial is done by the Omuna. The kindred. The Wuzu. See. Under the rigid way, your children and offspring cannot marry within the kindred. Once you join a community, a, con a kindred, in the rigid way that I'm proposing, know that your children or offspring cannot marry within the kindred. So you cannot be saying Igbo, Igbo, and there are no boundaries. You must have a kindred, and within that kindred, you cannot marry within yourself. Then, finally, you pay your financial dues. And we find an auto, it's called in Igbo, it's called auto, it auto. You pay your, your financial dues towards the kindred. So, if you want to, if you're an African American, if you're a black in diaspora, and you are truly desirous to reconnect. Back to the Igbo roots. You must do this. That is the rigid way. Now I'm going to show you the flexible way. The flexible way is that you don't have to come down to Igbo land. You don't have to come down to Igbo land. You do not have to visit unless you are coming for tourism. You do not have to come to Igbo land to adopt a community or a kindred unless you want to visit for tourism. That is welcome. If you desire to do that, it's welcome. The flexible way is that you just, by adopting the spirit and religion of Igbos, I've said it before, that Igbos have an indigenous religion. Igbos have an indigenous religion that distinguishes them. So if you want to reconnect, and you want the flexible way, you don't want to come back to, to be engrafted into a community and kindred, then there is another method which I have called the flexible method. And in this method, you have to adopt, you must adopt the religion of the Igbos. And how do you do this? You do it by setting up an altar for your she and using Igbos religion paraphernalia to propitiate your chi. There will be no indice for you because indice can only come out, come up, assuming you have a kindred. So since you don't have a indice, you must have a she. And remember, if you have not watched my, some of my she videos, you can go back and watch it. She is central in Igbo cosmology. So you have to set up an altar for your she and use religious paraphernalia like nzu, kola not, hot drink, or fowl. To propitiate. Now, you will also do what? You will also adopt Igbo gods. That is the masculine and feminine god. You either adopt the masculine one is known as Udo, and the feminine one is known as Ogugu. Depending on if you're a female, you can adopt Ogugu. Even as a male, you can still adopt the feminine. Ogugu. They perform different functions. Then the masculine one is Udo. You can adopt this as someone who has not been to Igbo land or rooted in any Igbo community because each Igbo community have their own version of God. So you can create your own using any of these Igbo PowerPoints known as Udo or Ogugu. The third one is you must adopt yam as your principal food if you're a man. You must adopt yam as your principal food. 
And if you're a woman, cocoa yam becomes your principal food. You cannot be claiming that you are Igbo and your principal food is spaghetti or rice. You are joking. Your principal food will be yam. So that when you want to propitiate and want to pray and want to do your own serious, create your own festival, it's yam that you will use. So stop, if, I want to be Igbo, I want to be Igbo. It's not by, it's not a mouth. It's not oral. It has depth. It has religious and spiritual depth. And yam is the king of food in Igbo land. Now, lastly, it's not by learning Igbo language or dressing and songs. All these things are infinitesimal. Many Igbo speak Igbos, but they are not Igbo in the core. Many Igbo speak dress Igbos. If you wear an Igbo dress, it doesn't make you an Igbo. If you know Igbo songs, it doesn't make you an Igbo. I'm showing you what is the core now. You need to have your chi. You need to adopt Igbo gods, either Udo or Ogugu. Udo is masculine, Ogugu is feminine. And you must, you must start using yam as your principal food if you're a man, and koko yam as your principal food if you're a woman. So I've shown you the flexible way and the rigid way. So if you are really desirous, you have to take this action. Thank you. If you love the video you will just watch, please like and subscribe. And also share the video. Please like, subscribe and share this video if you love it. Thank you. I don't want to be